One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And we just did a engine detail, did a wheel and tire detail. Those videos I'll put links to at the end of this video. Throw some comments down below and everything. This here is gonna be a video of how to degrunk, degrime, detree, and do whatever to the outside of your car that's been sitting in a field, sitting beside the house, collecting dust, dirt, grime, faded, screwed up. It's gonna be the whole series on this 93 T-Bird. I know it's loud, I got the power washer running, all that. I've done under the hood, it's 100% done. This is done deal. There'll be a little touch-ups we do, but we ain't even worried about that right now. For now, we're closing it off and forgetting about it, because it's important to detail exactly what you're looking at. So we don't gotta worry about nothing in there. The one thing we are gonna have to worry about, look at that beautiful tire we just did, is the trunk. And it collected all this stuff up here in the trunk. Now, anytime you've got stuff like this in the trunk, don't spray a lot of water, blah, 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 a lot of water in the trunk, but you don't want to just get up here and start pushing this stuff either. Hey, I even made that PG. Don't start pushing it out because you're just going to, it's going to fall in here anyways. No matter what you do, something's coming in the trunk. And Nick actually just did a good job vacuuming this out right before we blew all this stuff in the trunk. And I told him to, so it's pretty much my fault. So, don't scratch it all up. Use the power washer, it'll save your paint, plain and simple. One thing you're gonna notice on this car is this crap here that they put on it, and I'll tell you what, I'm probably gonna do my best to take a good amount of it right off that power washer. Be careful with the power washer, you can hurt your car, you can hurt your paint, and you can hurt yourself. That's all there is to say about it. However, a car that's been sitting out in a field or sitting out beside your house for five years, three years, whatever, it's not the same as something you've been driving every day, is on the street, and a great truck like that 98 Jeep that you can find on my channel for sale. Also on my website, one on a car guy. Point is, you wash something like this regular, and there'll be mud practically pouring out of the seams, out of the, out of the uh, cladding and the molding, and it's just not what you do. If you want the proper thing, you've actually got to get in there a bit and do it to it. And you can take your car up to the power washer, and that'll do it. But they're probably only running about 15, 1800 PSI. If you got a nice one, you're gonna be at like 3000 plus. This is 3100, it's a very good power washer. So, other than that, I'm gonna get to power washing and doing the actual power wash, and then I'm gonna show a quick wash, which I'm taking it as a good sense to know how to wash something. But get a really good sudsy water when you're doing this to where it actually, it cleans it up. I mean, every step is important. Every wash is important. You need to wash before you wax. You need to wash after you wax. Both are very important. But most importantly, blast all the grit out of everywhere. So, that's what we're gonna do. Hey, it's done. Well, I just leaned in to tell you Make sure and wet the whole car down a bit before you actually get in and grind it to it. Wet it down and let it sit for 30 seconds before you start putting the boots to it. Our camera overheated, so we're going to try it again. So 
put in the post. Any kind of trim and stuff you find, it's a little piece that's on the top of here, and it's just gone from right there. And that's the kind of stuff I show in my video, like there's a little piece of trim missing here. This also is why my hands are always so filthy when I'm doing a video. But this is the stuff you want to clean also in the whole windshield, down in these seams and everywhere. That's exactly what you're going to blow out of there is a bunch of that kind of stuff. Maybe you should do it from the front to where you can see because I'm going to turn it pieces like this you want to get really good and up and close to um, don't get too close get in there gradually but not only will you get the dirt off but it'll get everything out of the seams to where when you put some vinyl renewer on it it actually won't pull dirt up out of the ground out of the grain of it job and you fucked it, you'll notice that when you get done, like a day later, next thing you know, it's all peeling up again. It's all peeling up again because you didn't get enough of it off of it. That's all there is to say about it. So, look at the trunk real quick. that thing on the car while you're going. They're in the front. Okay, now you got this piece on here. And I'm gonna see what this does to it with the power washer. So come over here and get it this way. Zoom up on that a bit. You can also see all these branches in here. 
all this is going to come out too. In fact, I'm going to shoot that first. If there's any leak, definitely let you know. So now we're going to see what it'll do to this rubber on here. Okay, it's not taking it all off, which is just fine. However, it might almost look better if a guy took it all off. So I'm going to leave that up to the next buyer. It's not my choice. Honestly, I could sit here at the power washer, as you can see. changing my mind while I'm doing the job. Honestly, I think that looks a little better. This is the kind of thing that had I been taking more time, I would actually paint that piece most likely or shine the hell out of it. Very important to clean that out up in there because that makes all the difference in the world on your final 